Okay, guys, welcome back to our day two of review for this second partial. Today is December 7th, 2021, and we're going to continue with the reviews for our exam. The second topic that we're going to review is multi-step inequalities. The convert of the equation said that we could use inverse operations and that it didn't matter where our variables were at the very end of the exercise, just like we did and we saw in our last class. But however, inequalities have three specific rules. So three specific rules for inequality. Which ones are they? Well, the first rule is that variables or every single term that has variable should always, 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 always be on the left side. Okay, left side of what though? Inequality sign, obviously. Exercise, uh, specific rule number two. It says that all of the constants, if the variables go on the left, then all of the constants should always, 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 always go on the right side, okay? So we need to remember those because it is really important for us to have variables on the right and the left and, and constants on the right. And the third rule is a rule that usually uh, students forget and don't apply, and it is really important. And what does the third rule says? It says that if a negative number passes either multiplying or dividing from the left side to the right side, we flip or we reverse our inequality sign. Okay, so it is really important for you to remember those three rules. Also, it is important for you to remember that we have four inequality signs. We got the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal, and the less than or equal. Okay, those are our inequality signs. We also need to remember that the greater than or less than are both open. So you're going to graph with an open circle and that the greater than or greater than or less than or equal, greater than or equal or less than or equal are close. So you're gonna graph with the painted circle. Also, you need to remember that the greater than and greater than or equal resemble to the arrowhead that's on the right side of your number line. Therefore, you shade to the right. And also the less than or the less than or equal resemble the arrowhead from your number line that's going on the left side. So that's why you shade to the left side. So also that's why it's really important for you to have arrowheads in your number lines because it will help you remember what you're going to be doing. Today, we're going to work with three exercises. Unfortunately, we have a limited amount of time in Zoom and our class lasts only 34 minutes. And that's why we're only going to be able to do three exercises, but let's, uh, let's try to work the best that we can with these exercises. Okay, so exercise number one. What is exercise number one? Exercise number one is going to be one minus two, parenthesis, three X plus one, close parenthesis, greater than or equal to two X plus 15. Now, just like I told you in our previous class, whenever we see a parenthesis, that is the first thing that we're going to do. We cannot solve that first. We cannot say one minus two, that's negative one. No, we need to do the distributive property first because of pandas, okay? So we're going to say one, because I'm doing nothing to that one, and now I'm gonna multiply. And I'm gonna take into account the sign, okay? So negative two times three X,
Negative two times three x. Negative two times three x. Negative six x. Negative six x. Negative two times positive one. Negative two. Negative two. And since we're doing nothing to the other side or the inequality sign, we just go ahead and copy it just as it is. Now, we have two options, just like in the equation that we did yesterday. We can start using now our three rules and passing variables to the left and constants to the right, or we can simplify. I'm going to simplify, okay? And I'm gonna look for like terms. I have a like term on the left of one and negative two. Both of them are constants. None of them have a variable. Therefore, they're like terms. Six X, negative six X, is not a like term. Since it is not a like term, I just go ahead and copy it as it is, negative six X. Now I'll go ahead and say one minus two. Uh-huh. One minus two. Negative two. Sorry, negative one. Negative one. One, correct, because different signs you subtract, you can the sign of the greatest number. Greater than or equal to 2x plus 15. Now we can go ahead and pass variables to the left as our rule says. Okay, so this variable that's on the right side needs to go to this other side with an inverse operation. How does it go? Negative. Negative, correct, because it is added. So it goes negative. So I'm going to have, remember to copy everything that you have already on that side. So negative 6x minus 1 minus 2x greater than or equal to 15. We have all of our variables on the right. We don't have our, I mean, on the left, sorry, all of our variables on the left. We don't have our constants on the right, so we're gonna pass our constants to the right side. What's the constant that's missing? Negative one. How does it go to the other side? Positive. Positive one. Okay, so now I'm going to have negative six X minus two X greater than or equal to 15 plus one. And I don't have no more space there, so I'm going to move all the way here, up. I'm gonna simplify there. Negative six X minus two X. Four X. Negative six X minus two X. Negative six X minus two X. Negative eight X. Negative eight X. Negative eight X, because same signs I add and keep the to keep the sign. 15 plus one. 16. 16, correct. Now, just like in equations, I need to leave my variable completely alone. Therefore, I'm going to pass this negative eight to this side, doing what? Negative. Negative. Are you sure? It's negative eight. So how does it go to the other side? Positive. Sure. Dividing. Dividing. Because there's no sign in between the number and the variable. And if there's no sign in between the negative eight and the x, it means that it is multiplying. Therefore, it goes dividing. But what else? Flip the inequality sign. We flip, flip the inequality the sign. sign. Why? Because a negative number in this case is dividing when and it's passing dividing from the left to the right. So we flip the sign. So it's no longer going to be less uh, greater than or equal. It's going to be less than or equal. Okay. So I'm going to have x is less than or equal to 16 over negative 8. How much is 16 divided by negative eight? Two. Negative two. 
Negative two. Correct. Am I done? Is this my exercise finished? Or should I do something else? Graph the line. Graph. Exactly. To graph the inequality in a number line. And I'm going to graph it in a number line that I'm going to draw with a ruler. So you need to use a ruler. You better have a ruler on your exam this Monday. You pick wherever you want the negative two to go. I want it to go there. Is this open or is this closed? Closed. No, it's correct because it isn't or equal. And should I shade to the right or should I shade to the to left? left? To the, the left. left. So I can shade this way. It has to go all the way from the, um, the dot that I painted, the circle all the way to the very end of your inequality of your number line. And then we're finished with our first exercise. Okay, questions? No. Questions? No, actually, this is pretty easy. It is really easy. Let's do a second exercise in order for us to practice a little bit more, okay? Our second exercise is going to be one that's tricky, just like yesterday. 7H minus 2 over 3 is less than 4H plus 1. What is the first thing that I need to do in this exercise? Just like yesterday, what's the first thing we need to do in this exercise? Think or look at your exercises that we solved yesterday. That was an exercise similar to this. What should I do? Divide three and four. No, the three and, and we moved and it will be multiply. We pass the three multiplying to the other side because this is a division. And I need to get rid of that fraction. So it goes to the other side multiplying. It has to go multiplying everything that I have on the other side. So 7H minus 2 is less than, I place between a parenthesis, the 4H plus 1, because it's already there. So I place it in between a parenthesis times 3. And I just told you, whenever we have a parenthesis, that's the first thing that we're going to do. So we're going to multiply that three times everything that we had already on the other side. So we're going to have 7H minus 2 is less than 4H times 3. 12H. 12H. 3 times 1. 3. So plus three. Can I simplify anything in either side? Do I have any like term in either side? Do I? Do I have any like term that I can simplify? Mm -hmm. Mario? Do I have any like term in there? No, right? I don't have no like term in there. So I, I'm ready to use my three specific rules where variables need to go on the left. So this variable is at the right, so it should be on the left. What's the inverse operation that we're using? Negative. Negative. Very good. So I have now 7H minus two minus 12H, remember we copy always what we have already on that side, less than three. Now we need to have constants on the right side. We have this negative two that should be on the right side. It goes with an inverse operation that is? Positive two. Add it or positive. 
And we're going to have then 7H minus 12H is less than 3 plus 2. 7H minus 12H. Seven H minus twelve H. How much is it? Seven H minus twelve H. Negative five H. Negative five H. Right. So negative five H is less than three plus two. Five. Five, very good. Now I need to leave the variable completely alone. Therefore, this number has to go to this side. So how does it go to that other side? Positive five. Sorry. Where it goes as positive five? Divide. Division. Divide. Division. Why a division? You flip the inequality sign. I'm very good. good. Why is it dividing? Because there's no sign between the number and the variable. There is a sign, but it's in front of the number, not in between the number and the variable. Therefore, it is dividing and you flip the sign. So it no longer is less than, it is greater than. H is greater than five divided by negative five. So H is greater than, how much is five divided by negative five? Negative one. Am I done? Did I finish already? The graph. The graph. The graph. Don't forget to graph. Okay. Don't forget. Very good. So we use a ruler. Remember, a ruler. I've been saying it a lot. You pick wherever you want the negative one to be. Is it open or is it closed? Open. Open. open very good open. does it go to the right or does it go right. to the left it goes to the right right, to the right. it goes to the right why are you clapping okay it goes to Era the right. rela, miss. English. okay so that's our exercise number two let's go with our exercise number three it's a little bit more tricky but it is not hard okay it's just tricky. So let's say we have 2x minus 5 over 3x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 1. What should I do there? Basically, we did it already. So you should know because we solved something like that already. It's just a little bit tricky. So what should I do? Mm -hmm. What should I do? Hmm? Divide. Divide. No, we multiply. Divide. We multiply. Plus one. Everything oh. that's in the denominator, every single thing goes to the other side, multiplying, just like we did in this exercise. So we're going to have left 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 1. And in between the parentheses, everything that I'm moving from the other side, the whole denominator comes to the right multiplying. What's our step two? What's our step two? 2x minus five is less than or equal to negative one parentheses. 3x plus 1, close parentheses. So what should I do? I should do distributive property. Because remember, 
every single time that you see a parenthesis, you should do a distributive property before doing anything else. So I'm going to do the distributive property. So I'm going to have 2x minus 5 is less than or equal negative 1 times 3x. Negative 3x. Negative 3x. Very good. Negative 1 times positive 1. Negative 1. Negative one. 1. Do I have anything that I can simplify in either side? No, I don't. So what should I do? Start with my specific rules. Variables on the left. So this negative 3x should go to this side. How? Positive 3x. Positive, exactly, it should go positive. So now I'm going to have, remember to copy what you have already on that side first, 2x minus five plus 3x is less than or equal to negative one. Constant should go on the right, so this negative five goes to the other side. How does it go? If it's negative positive. five, positive, positive as well. Five. Yes, positive five. So we have now two x plus three x is less than or equal to negative one plus five. Two x plus three x? Positive five x. Positive five x, very good, Daniel. Less than or equal, negative one plus five. Four. Positive four. Positive four. Different, with different signs we subtract and we keep the sign of the greatest number. And now we leave this variable alone. So the five goes to the other side. How does it go? Dividing. Dividing. Should I flip the sign? No, because it is not negative. No, because it is not negative. It is a positive number, so I don't flip it. So I say x is less than or equal to four and divisions are fractions, so divided by five. Should I leave that like that or should I pass it to a decimal? I leave it like that. Don't pass it to a decimal. You leave it as a fraction, okay? And now we just go ahead and do the only thing that we're missing, which is? Graph. The graph. Using a ruler. Don't forget to use a ruler. So we pick here four over five. Is it open or is it closed? Closed. Closed. Should it go to the right or should I uh, shade to the left? Left. Left. So I'm going to shade all the way from the number to the very end of my number line. And that is the third exercise for today. Do you have any question whatsoever? Questions? Well, no, only, right? only on negative, well, when the answer is negative, we flip the sign. No, when the and number, that is with the variable at the end is negative, like in this case, negative eight X. In order to leave the variable alone, I need to pass that number divided. If that number is negative, I flip the sign. If it's positive, I don't flip it, I keep it. Okay? Okay then, this is everything for the second day of reviews.